Hey yo, it is I, the Great Taco, and here is my review. So, it's been a bit since I've done one of these. <laughs> and I figured I'd do one that feels important. So this is Protocordax, which is another version of my self-mock. But it is a version that, um, he was initially supposed to be the default design from, like, when I was 14 or whatever, so four, five years ago, something like that. <clears throat> so, basically, that's what he's supposed to be. So let's actually get into it. So, also my hands are kind of gross, I just went berry picking. <laughs> um, so, the legs are really simple. This is actually the first time I've done a mock with um, this limb piece here, where it's got the holes on the side instead of the front and the back. On the sides of the front. Um, it's a nice piece. A little weird to use. Especially because the middle hole is an axle hole and not a pinhole. Because that would have made this look a lot less weird. Also, they like to do that sometimes and they kind of get a little weird like that. Um, these articulate, dang it. <laughs> That's another con of that piece. So, 2009. Um, they articulate pretty well. They could be better, but... The nature of the connection, I'm not worried about it. Um, the feet are just the 2008 version of the Mata feet. So, I don't really mind either one. They kind of both feel the same. Oh, wait. Is that? Oh, I didn't realize that difference. I don't know. I thought these had like a little matte finish on the top of them for a second. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Who knows? Um, anyway, onto the torso. So this is a torso you will likely recognize. I use it a lot. I used it on Tavolta, Dromedus, Trollios. Who else have I used it on? Uh, let's see here. Dragao. And I'm sure there's someone else I'm forgetting right now that I can't see from my desk. But yeah, I've used this torso design a lot. Or various different versions of it. This one has this little snowflake shield out the back. So when I built this mock, I was kind of inspired by the fact that when I initially thought of the idea of Cortex, I was kind of getting into, I was still kind of getting into Bionicle, so I thought that the 2009 stuff was really cool, like with the Glatorian and stuff. Um, initially I was wanting to do a green helmet. I wanted to do something like this, but in green, but they didn't make this in green. So I think I was going to go with either Tarduck or Resh's helmet, but because I wanted the two spiked out the back, about this, like, basically this shape, but dark green. Um, but, you know, that that doesn't really exist. <laughs> so I had to um, resort to this. I might get one in green one of these days. But, yeah, I actually really like this piece. Mine's interesting, because part of the cheek is a little blue. It's hard to see. But, oh, ooh, that makes it a lot easier to see that. Um, you can definitely see... There's a blue in the one cheek and not really the other. So that's an interesting thing. Um, back to the torso though. The snowflake is attached via an axle going through this hole up here. It's not secured in any way, which I'm okay with. It's not really, it doesn't need to be secured. So it gives them some nice cool back spikes. Um, also the head design. Um, this is not my head design. It is, I'm blanking on who I yoinked it from. I want to say it was Bonkles Mox on Instagram? I, I don't think it, it might not have been. I don't remember. It's been a couple of years since I yoinked this head design. Um, but it's designed for the Gelu helmet. So, very nice. Basically, the face is the slicer foot, and then this look like this kind of one and a third, one and a half pin wait no you know what i mean though one of these little pins are coming dark gray and tan and look kind of weird and this little one long um pin bush pushing thing then the head is actually interesting it's one of these pieces on um, this weird hand connector thing with the vertical bit the vertical axle hole and then just this assembly on the back and you got a very simple head design that actually looks really good. So the back, obviously, I mean, it's not covered up the 
best. It could be better. But looking at it from the front, it looks so good. Like, it's got a nice slick visor look, but that's what I was going for. I was wanting to look at, make it look like, yeah, like a visor. So I say I pulled that off pretty well with this head design. It reminds me a lot of like a Mandalorian or something with the way the helmet is kind of designed. And I do actually, I don't actually own Galu, but Rex Minifix is great. So, and actually, okay, this is the only bit of this mock that's really reminiscent of my current, of the other Cordex, is this arm design. It is the same assembly, aside from the filling, I didn't have all the pieces for that. But the actual parts, aside from color, all the parts are the same. Minus, also I didn't have the, um, the fingertips. But, like, these are all the same, which was intentional. I wanted to give that um, general continuity between the two mocks. And they are different. Also, they are different characters. They are not the same. But, yeah. I'm quite proud of that bit. And also, the sword. I'm going to take it out of this hand really quick. Because this is a nice sword design. Um, so, Gelu came with this, like, weird ice blade piece. It's actually a rubber. It's a rubbery. A little rubbery. Kind of bendy, mine's bent. I can't really bend it back because you know rubber's like that. But it is not regular transparent blue. It's like a different color. It's really nice. I like it. And then the tip of the pommel is just. Let's focus. There we go. The pommel is just um this modified um one by one round tile with a one by one round plate with the hole in the middle of it, then the jewel on the end. And then this piece, when I got it, I actually had no idea what set it came in, but it comes in an Exo Force set. I believe it's called Sentai Fortress. It is a stickered piece. So yeah, it's nice. And actually, so this is not an illegal connection. So I can, as you can see, I'm sticking it onto the middle without a jumper plate. And that is because this is the old, this piece um, came out in 2006. So, they were still using this style of one by one or two by two round tile, which many people will probably recognize from the old Lego Star Wars games. Nowadays, this tile is, um, the middle is round, not this X. So this X allows for these connections where you have like, so you have the, obviously the ones that would go on studs, but then you have some in the middle to where it can do stuff like this and be centered, so. To me, I like that I did that. I'm not sure what the Japanese character says on it, but I imagine, like, basically in universe, as he's, like, fighting with this blade, um, this would charge up, kinda. And once it's, like, fully, like, charged, so to speak, it would start glowing brightly blue, and you would just, he would just unleash his ice blast or something. I don't know. His lore is still in early, early stages. Um, but yeah, there's not really much else to say on it. I mean, actually, no, there is, there is more to say on it. So, the store, so, because of this design, he can articulate a lot more than the other Cordax because of this design. The other Cordax is pretty restricted with this torso design, despite the fact that he does have a middle joint. So this allows me to get this one into some really good poke. Dang it. 2009, am I right? I'm getting to skim some really cool looking poses. So for example, let me tilt this torso a little more. And here we go. With really cool and dynamic poses with this torso. So that's about all I have to say. So ciao. <laughs>